Hi everybody, uh, Scott from the Sheboygan Chamber uh, with another episode of our uh, Chamber Chat series. Um, it is uh, uh, starting to get to travel season. People are starting to think about spring break and, and, and things like that. And so we thought we would come to our local travel agents, um, uh, Air Bear Travel. And we're talking with uh, uh, Shelly France here today. And um, first off, before we got started filming here, you were telling me you guys have been around for a while here in Sheboygan, right? Almost 36 years. Wow. It'll be 36 in June. Um, the founding owner, Debbie Kidder, uh, opened the agency in June of 1984. Wow. And I came to her in June of 1985 as a high school co-op student looking for a part-time job. And here That's I am. Cool. Here I am, 35 years later. Wow. She took me under her wing. Uh, the agent she had working in the agency at the time took me under their wing. They started you know, teaching me in off hours and, and giving me a little task to do. And, you know, long story short, fast forward through high school and me being undecided of my career, um, I had the opportunity to just take on some training and she started sending me away. And so I, I started working at the agency full time. Cool. And that's how it all came about. In the early 90s, uh, the business came for sale and she offered it to me, um, to which my family purchased the company, my parents. Nice. And uh, we continued to build the company for four years. Met my future husband and we we're making a decision on where to live and what to do with our careers. And since I had a career, he chose to leave his and come north. Oh, wow. And he had family here. So nice. we, we bought the company and so we've owned it from uh, 26 years next month. Okay. And so we've had a long, long history of building it together and moving to this location, which is our final, our final move. We had okay. three storefronts downtown Sheboygan oh, okay. uh, for, for 10 years. We, we moved and kept upgrading to a bigger building gotcha. until we built this in 1999. So, okay. you know, we've, right. we've been around 36 years. Well, that's so, cool. Yeah. So a uh, good note to all of you high school <laughs> kids and parents that are out there wanting your kids to get a job. It does lead to a career. It can. <laughs> it, it can lead to a who career. Knew? Who knew? So, I, yeah. I wanted to be a social worker. And oh, really? Okay. I'm a travel agent. So. It's very similar, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of similarities this there. This is a happier, yes. happier career yes. choice. Yes. I, I started out in the hospitality industry myself, in the hotel industry. There's... there's a lot of social work in travel. It, it, there, there can be, yes. Right, right. So um, you were also telling me uh, you guys have, have kind of expanded over the years. It was originally a, a travel agency, but now you've got uh, the buses and the travel and everything. Explain to us a little bit how that works. Sure. When we started out, we were a two-room small office with four agents uh, just strictly selling airline tickets, cruises, tours. And... When my parents bought the business, we started dabbling a little bit, um, chartering the occasional motor coach from other companies out of town okay. and doing a little bit of bus travel. And when Paul and I purchased the company um, in 1994, uh, at the end of that year is when the airlines started to make drastic cuts and they capped our commission, mm -hmm. which took a huge chunk out of our income. And we had to figure out how to diversify sure. and make up that income. Sure. And so we started dabbling with a little bit of motor, um, motor coach travel. Okay. And at that time, the local limousine company came for sale. So we okay. bought our first set of vehicles and and ran Gaslight Limousine for okay. many years and then purchased our first used motor coach and okay. started doing motor coach travel. Um, a huge part of our business then became motor coach charter business, which is people now coming to us who need motor coaches for, you know, senior travel, hockey travel, school trips. Sure. And so we, we grew that business. And over the years, we've owned... In the last 26 years, we've owned, I think Paul counted recently, um, over 100 vehicles. Wow. Well, you know, transitioning, so. Wow. Do you, you still know, have the, the, the limo side of things? We don't have the limousines okay. anymore, unfortunately. I know, <laughs> I know we still get calls. Um, we, we ended up having to kind of disperse that. Um, the maintenance became real high for what we that were using sense. them for and the amount of sure. business we were getting, it didn't justify sure. it. Um, but we've grown our, you know, we have three full-size motor coaches currently. Okay. And two are 2019 models and then a oh, 2018. Nice. So we keep our nice. fleet new. We're constantly, you yeah. know, keeping that up and rotating the fleet. 
And, well, and I, I had an opportunity to ride on one of your buses a couple years ago um, when the uh, DDA uh, went down to Lansing to do the presentation on the Michigan Main Street program. Mm -hmm. um, it was very nice. <laughs> was we we do get nice a lot bus. of compliments on our fleet. Um, you know, we do keep them up, keep them maintained, and we have great drivers. And so I don't ride on them all the time, but a few times a year, um, we have our own tours that we package when yeah. I can fit it in on the calendar. And then we do a few school trips and okay. um, plan the low, you know, there's a couple uh, high schools that still do senior class trips. So we put those together and okay. work on That's those. That's kind of a dying years. breed, isn't it? It is. Uh, there's yeah. a couple small high schools in the area that are still pulling it off, but cool. it's, it is. And the other, one of my other great relationships that I enjoy is, um, with the Sheboygan High School band and Andy Dunn because he does a trip every two years. So that's that's great. a big one for me. So that's we're, great. and that's one of my joys is when I can get out of the office and travel, especially with kids and taking them places and hearing the reactions, knowing they've never left Sheboygan or even, you know, maybe, you know, Sheboygan County. Yeah. Or if they cross that state line, of you course. Know, and get them into a city and it's just makes my heart happy, well, you know. And where we live in Northern Michigan, you have to go quite a ways to, to get travel. to somebody mm -hmm. else. And right, so, right. So yeah. yeah, I mean, for a lot of kids, that may not be very easy to do. So if it they isn't. can travel with you guys and with the school and whatever, right. that's a fantastic And there's experience. some of them I know that once I brought them home that they may never ever get that opportunity again. Sure. So it sure. does make my heart happy. Well, so, that's neat. Yeah. Well, that's good. Um, you mentioned a second ago the, the, the special travel packages that you have, and I know we've, we've profiled a couple of them in the Chambers newsletter, mm -hmm. um, you know, things you put together. Where are some of the places you have put packages together for, for people to go? For our motor coach tours, you know, I try to mix it up every year, go east, go west. Go south. New York City is a huge staple, okay. and that's become my signature trip. Oh, really? Um, okay. I've done 25. I've been to New York City 25 times. Wow. Um, and I will be doing two trips in, in November, simply because the first one filled up so quickly. I'll be doing the second one oh, wow. for Christmas. The Rock Hats. It's a big deal. Okay, that so, makes sense. All right, yep, sure. Yep. And so I'm already starting to look ahead to next year's calendar to put a few trips on. I have a huge following that I, regulars that have traveled with me on my bus tours for the last 20 years. Oh, wow. And so they're always looking forward to yeah. where we're going, and I try to mix it up a little bit, make it different for them. So it's kind of like traveling yeah. with friends. Right, I mean, yeah, it is, to... really, it yeah. is. It's kind yeah. of fun when they get on the coach and they recognize people they've traveled with before. As a, the other part of our business, you know, obviously is travel, and so I try to put together every year or two, um, I typically use Colette Tours um, or Globus Tours, uh, one of my companies that I can sell to individuals as well, but mm. put together a group and then travel with a group out of the country. So they seem to feel a little bit more comfortable if I've been with them. So I've been blessed sure. to be able to do that. Right. And uh, an and individual basis, you know, spring break right now, people are still calling and I'm still finding finding places for people to go next month. So. What's, um... <laughs> now, I remember back in the day when I was in the hotels and stuff, there were always crazy stories. Is there anything that you can share? Because I know some of the stories that I have, you can't. You can't talk about those too. <laughs> what's what's maybe one of the most unique stories uh, that you've heard uh, from uh, clients that have been on a trip that you've set up for them? That's put you on the spot already. But. Oh my gosh, I've got a lot of great stories. I told you I'm going to write an autobiography. So right. I'm going to change names. <laughs> protect um, the innocent. Yeah, protect or yeah. guilty. Or, right, sure. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Could be both. I've, tried, I've had some some crazy, interesting you know, stories myself, mm. adventures or misadventures I've had. Um, I'm trying to think for my clients, though. Hmm. Ooh, I should have had that question yesterday. Sorry, I just kind of sprung that on you a little bit. But, uh. I was on a flight to Germany one time, and I, people have heard this story before. And, you know, a little small town girl from, you know, Michigan. And I was it was my first trip to Europe. And okay. I was going to visit my best friend who, her and her husband were stationed in Germany. And I was seated next to a lady out of Detroit Metro. And we started talking, and she asked where I was from. And... Uh, and I told her Sheboygan, not expecting. She and she said, "Oh, you know, I had neighbors that I lived next door to, and you know, the Detroit area for 20 years." And it turned out that her next door neighbors were my aunt and uncle, my godparents no. in Ferndale. So that was kind oh, of wow. you know, it's a small world right. type of thing. Right. And uh, you know, we, you know, Paul and I were in Hawaii on a cruise. 
years ago and ran into old neighbors of his, you know, from Lansing. So, I mean, it's just, it's a small world. Yeah. And yeah, I've had some crazy, crazy misadventures. But, yeah. um, and my clients, I'm sure I have, I have to go back to my memory bank, but I do get some pretty crazy stories from people when they come home. Uh, I'm sure. I mean, <laughs> travel, travel is so, is so interesting. And, you know, people are, are experiencing things sometimes for the first time. Right, exactly. Um, So uh, we've had a lot of uh, fun uh, here at Air Bear Travel uh, talking about some, uh, some of our experiences and some of the things that you guys have to offer. Um, you guys have been uh, fantastic um, businesses and a staple for Sheboygan for, for many years. So I just want to say thank you uh, for being a chamber member and, and, and being in business here in Sheboygan thank for you. so many years. And um, if you don't have your spring break trip booked yet, Give these guys a call. If you're looking for other trips down uh, down the road, uh, down the road. <laughs> uh, give these guys a call too. So, Shelly, right. thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Scott. I appreciate it. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you too. Thanks, everybody. Um, we'll see you next time for uh, Chamber Chats. <laughs>